Fairview is 5,000 acres of open flats with open forest hill country. Just after we came here, we had different corporations and companies coming and going here without us knowing. We had tourists taking photos, looking at calves. We had people coming here fishing and hunting. We had no idea who was on our property at any given time. And so I was looking for a way to get people to understand that what they were doing was spreading weed seeds around our property. So I spoke to a DPI vet about what was happening and he suggested that I do a biosecurity plan. I researched it on the net and uh, found a very, very simple plan. And from there I wrote our existing plan with a greater depth of recording events and animal health, paddock inventories, etc. To keep our biosecurity plan in place, we have a very strict weed hygiene policy. All vehicles that enter the property have to report to the homestead. There is a visitor's book that is signed and we record people's vehicle registrations and their last known contact with livestock. If those vehicles are to be taken off the designated roadways and if there is any biosecurity matter, they either have to wash down their vehicles or they can't leave the designated roadway. Any machinery that was to come on, so whether it's a quad bike or a exploration drill rig or it's maintenance vehicles doing work on the power lines, everybody has to follow the same protocols. With our livestock biosecurity procedures, any cattle that are introduced to the property are quarantined in the cattle yards for three days and then they're put into small holding paddocks around the cattle yards for a further two weeks and that is to let the gut empty out of any weed seed contamination and to be able to spot any disease that are in the herd when they first come on the place. Having these procedures in place, it minimises the risk of introduction of any disease and the introduction of any new weed seed. Any fodder that's purchased off farm would have to have a weed declaration form supplied by the supplier and that minimises the risk of introducing any new weed seed. As we've eradicated most weeds back to the riparian area, we now just monitor paddocks when we're mustering or fencing or checking cattle for any new weed growth. And that is usually sprayed within a couple of weeks of being spotted. We have a program where once a year, we go out when the weeds are in their growth stages or are flowering and um, apply the applicable herbicides. If someone was considering starting their biosecurity plan, my advice to them would be to keep it simple. There is a lot of help out there now for primary producers, so I would encourage them to look at the brochures, have a look at the websites, and to bring the staff to help them get started. I think the biosecurity plan is an important tool. It allows you to have proof of your policies and procedures. It allows you to prove that you are undertaking methodologies to minimise risk to your pasture and to your livestock. Our biosecurity plan has been the best outcome for us.